Come. It is Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve and time is standing still for a moment. It is the time, maybe the only time of the year, when here and now drift away and we fall under the spell of story time. Tonight we are both here at St James Church and on a lonely hill outside of Bethlehem. Tonight we are here with each other, if not physically then in spirit, remembering our friends and families, returning students and relatives from far away. And we are also journeying with the Magi, who are on a journey and such a hard time for journey. Tonight we listen to our choristers from home and we listen to the choirs of angels and whole heavenly host of angels we have heard on high. Tonight, like every night, is new and never happening before moment in onrushing time. And yet, we have been here before, done this before, told this story before, and heard it before. There is a way that the story we tell tonight is always happening. Birth and death and taxes. Weary travellers with no place to stay. Babies born. Sudden signs of grace and glory and surprising generosity. The past and the present are closely woven tonight and we sense the presence of our own eternal selves, our souls perhaps, with our everyday selves tonight. And when at this evening's end we will see the radiance and beauty of one another as seen through the eyes of a timeless love. Come, Come. It, it is, is Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. Let, Let us, us worship, worship together. together. A warm welcome to our first online Midnight Mass on Christmas Eve. Judith and I are grateful to all within our team who are making us possible to come to you this evening from St. James Church. The service was pre-recorded to make sure that all the elements of carols and readings can be incorporated together. And we are grateful to all members of St. James' ministry team and the music team for making this all possible. And Judith will lead us through our call to worship at this time. Let us pray. On this holiest of nights, we come joining the shepherds who are frozen in awe and wonder. On this most silent night, we come, our hopes and dreams, joining those of Mary and Joseph. On this night of carols and candlelight, we come, our glad songs, joining with the choirs of angels above us. May I request young children from our Young Voices Choir to come forward to help us in lighting our advent
we confess that we have sinned. In your mercy, Lord, forgive us and heal us. When we make no room for Christ and fail to welcome him into our lives, in your mercy, Lord, forgive us and heal us. When we sanitise your birthplace and erase from memory the poor and displaced, in your mercy, Lord, forgive us and heal us. When we sing the sweet sentiments over Christ's birth and fail to rejoice over his everyday presence, in your mercy, Lord, forgive us and heal us. We turn to you, O Christ, perfect union of spirit and flesh. We renounce evil. We claim your love. We choose to be made whole. Amen. Thank you, Judith, for our prayers. And we receive God's forgiveness for our lives. God's light is in the world and the darkness did not overcome it. God's grace is in the world, and our missteps will not overcome it. We are loved. We are forgiven. Alleluia. Amen. Let us sing our next camp, O Little Town of
Our first reading for tonight comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the prophecy of the Messiah's birth. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them a light has shined. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness, from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Sandra, for bringing our scriptures this evening. May God bless you. Let us sing our next carol, Angels from the Realms of Glory. Angels from the realms of glory, wind your flight o'er all the earth. He who sang creation's story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship, come, oh come and worship, come, oh come and worship, worship Christ the King. Come, oh come and worship, come, oh come and worship, come, oh come and worship Christ the King. Shepherds in your fields abiding, watching your young flocks by night. God with man is now residing. Shines the infant light. Come, oh come and worship. Come, oh come and worship. Come, oh come and worship. Worship Christ the King. Come, oh come and worship. Come, oh come and worship. Come, oh come and worship Christ the newborn King. Sages, leave your contemplations. Brighter visions beam afar. The great desire of nations, ye have seen his natal star. Come, O oh come and worship, come, O oh come and worship, come, O oh come and worship, worship Christ the King. Come, O oh come and worship, come, O oh come and worship, come, O oh come and worship Christ the newborn King. Saints before the altar bending. Long in hope and fear, suddenly the Lord descending in his temple shall appear. Come, O oh come and worship, come, O oh come and worship, come, O oh come and worship, worship Christ the King. Come, O oh come and worship, come, O oh come and worship, come, O oh come and worship Christ the newborn King. Though an infant now we view him, he shall fill his father's throne. Gather all the nations to him, every knee shall then bow down. Come, oh come and worship, come, oh come and worship, come, oh come and worship, worship Christ the King. Come, oh come and worship, come, oh come and worship, come, oh come and worship Christ the newborn King. Come, oh come and worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah, the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Hallelujah. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The birth of Jesus. In those days a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Cyrenius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee 
to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to, to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her first son, firstborn son, wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them at the inn. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you, Reverend Tony, for bringing our scripture reading to us this evening. May God bless you and man. And our Christmas Eve reflection. Let us pray. Lord, this is your word. We are your people. Open the words to our hearts as we open our hearts to your living word of comfort and joy. Amen. Christmas Eve this year will feel different. The family gatherings may well be smaller. For at least some of us, we may be joining in the familiar carols in the car park or online rather than in this beautiful church. I hope you enjoy our Christmas gift of lessons and carols CD, reflecting on the message of the angels of comfort and joy. We are grateful to our music team, Mr. Andrew Clayton, our director of music, and Rachel Cooper, our honorary director of Young Voices, for working so very hard in producing these 1,000 CDs and in also leading our crib service earlier today. Also with more than 1,000 gifts for children as young as three months old to 19 year olds have been provided by Hope for Some in partnership with five local schools. We are grateful for their generosity. This Christmas Eve is a time to look back on a year when so much has changed. To remember those who have died. To support those who have lost jobs. To be thankful for all who have cared for the sick and the vulnerable. The doctors and the nurses in our local community the teachers and the leadership in our local schools, people who stacked supermarket shelves, the pharmacist who supplied essential medications. The Hope Helpline Befriending Service will remain operational through the Christmas period for those feeling lonely and isolated. So please feel free to contact Hope Helpline if you are feeling lonely at this time of Christmas. Dear friends, what has not changed this Christmas Eve is the story and the meaning of Jesus' birth. The message from angels that you shall name him Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. God with us in the mess of life as in the goodness of friendship and community. God with us in the disappointment of maintaining physical distance and the gift of technology which is helping so many in these precedented times to see the face of their grandchildren and their children. God is with us in sorrow of those we have lost this year. But God is also with us in celebration of those whom we have welcomed this year. For the kindness and generosity of Edmund to the joy of charity and grace in this season of Christmas. We, here at St. James Church, Pray that as you journey with us through the Christmas season, you will know that Jesus journeys with us. 
may you know God's comfort. And in whatever your circumstances, be surprised by God's joy. Merry Christmas and a happy New Year when it comes. Spoken in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us join with God's saints from every time and place to declare the things we believe, and so we affirm our faith. I believe in God, whose light shines in darkness, and the darkness can never suffocate it. I believe that on a night like this night, in Bethlehem, there was born a Saviour who is Christ the Lord. I believe in the Word who has become incarnate, our very flesh and blood, yet full of grace and truth. I believe in the blessed appearing of the salvation of our Lord, that is for the happiness of all people. I believe in his name as wonderful counsellor, mighty king, everlasting father, prince of peace. Of the increase of his rule and of his unique peace, there will be no end. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This I surely believe. And now we have our Christmas anthem, Glory and Grace, sung by Andy and Rachel.
Jesus Saviour, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the Church. The Church is the whole family of God's people, down the ages and across the world. Those who have become God's children through faith in Jesus Christ, whose birth we celebrate this coming day. St James is a branch of that universal family. Tonight, we share our worship as part of that family. Father, bless the family of the Church. May we accept one another as brothers and sisters, offering and finding comfort and joy in our life together. May we be a family welcoming and supportive to all. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own families. This year, the impact of the pandemic has meant that many families have been divided. People have been separated from their loved ones at a time when the need for family support has been especially intense. Strengthen the bonds within our families, O oh Lord. Even though circumstances make it difficult for us to spend time in each other's company, Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. As we approach the end of 2020, we ask forgiveness for past failings and pray that we might do better in future. If we quarrel, help us to forgive quickly, just as we ask to be forgiven by you, O Lord. True love keeps no score of wrongs felt. Father, forgive us for the hatred that divides nation from nation, race from race, creed from creed, for the greed of individuals and nations to possess what is not their own, for indifference to the plight of the poor and homeless, for the arrogance that leads us to trust in ourselves and not in God. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have had the misfortune to be ill at this time. Lord, we bring before you our friends who need your healing, and we also think of those bringing care to them this Christmas tide. We remember in particular Ivy Birchall, Elizabeth Brewer, Jill Clifford, Bryony Smith, Joan and Roy Cash, Pam Platts, Hannah Giles, Margaret Hill. Beryl Woolston, Peter Greenfield, Doris Griffiths, Miriam Howell, Evelyn Busby, Christine Harding, Margaret Howard, and any others known personally to us. Jesus Saviour, hear our prayer. We also remember those who have died and those who grieve for them. O oh Lord, we pray for those who have lost family or friends. Give them a special share of your peace and love to fill the gaps in their hearts at this time. Gaps that have been made harder to bear by the restrictions imposed in response to the virus. We give thanks for the lives of those who have died. Nora Morton, Betty Mills, Ken Dawson, Patricia Maitland, Brian James Arthur, Eileen Turner, and any others known personally to us. Jesus Saviour, hear our prayer. Compassionate and holy Jesus Christ, our Lord, we celebrate your coming amongst us. Let us take with us tonight your message of love and peace, comfort and joy, and hope for the future, firmly resolve to nurture these gifts and share them as we go forward in the rest of our lives. Jesus Saviour, hear our prayer. We bring all our prayers together with this prayer. Jesus Saviour, Child of Mary, you know us and love us, and you share our lives and hear our prayer. Glory to you forever. Amen. Thank you, Paul, for these prayers. 
May God bless you and Jean. And we share the peace together. At Christmas Eve, angels opened the gates from heaven to earth and brought the peace of God to all people. The peace of the Lord be with you and also with you. And we come to the preparation of the table. Thank you, God of love, for the promise of this season. We are grateful for the generosity aroused in us by Christ coming into the world. May these gifts represent a new spirit of joyous sharing among us the sake of all your children everywhere. Amen. And we partake in our Holy Communion on this Christmas Eve. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Almighty God, you shape your very life to create and restore and enjoy us forever. We gather around your altar like those who thronged your son's manger longing for you to resemble men and women, kings and working people, Jews and Gentiles, heaven and earth, at the place where our humanity and your divinity met together. You had too much love to keep it to yourself. And though we took up arms against you, and one another. You disarmed us in coming into our midst as defenseless baby. As his arms were tied in the swaddling clothes, so later his hands were nailed to the cross. Yet you made his birth the foretaste of our redemption and his breath, the gateway to resurrection life. You give us such joy and peace in your company that our hearts join the angels in the Christmas sky and around your eternal throne, singing the hymn of your unending praise. Holy, Holy, holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is. Take, eat, this is my body, 
which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of After supper, he took the cup and again he gave you thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Shepherd King, as you drew the Magi to the place of your epiphany, call us to yourself and bring your creation to its consummation. In this banquet, restore us in your image. Surround us with your company and prepare us for your freedom. After the pattern of your Son, through whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours now and forever. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread of life, that life in the light of the world. God's here among us. Light in the midst of us. Bring us to light and life. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Christ is the true bread, which has come down from heaven. Lord, give us to spread always. Amen. Reverend Judith leads us through those prayers. Having now with faith received the gifts of grace at the table of the Lord, we pray together. God our Father, in this night you have made known to us again the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Confirm our faith and fix our eyes on him until the day dawns and Christ the morning star rises in our hearts. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Let us
to sing our final carol together this evening. O come all ye faith.
until he brings you into his eternal kingdom. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. As we journey through this Christmas season, Jesus Christ, journey with you. May we know God's comfort in whatever our circumstances and surprised by God's joy for our lives. In, in the, the name, name of Christ. Christ.